Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve a geometry related problem. Let's dive straight into the problem. In the figure below, four identical rectangles are placed around a square ABCD to form a larger square EFGH. That is, you have a square ABCD and there are four rectangles, one, two, three, and four placed around this square and that by itself forms a large square EFGH. The area of one rectangle is 12 cm square and the area of ABCD is one fourth the area of EFGH. Find the length of one rectangle. Let's try to understand this problem by deconstructing it. So this actually, how, how did this uh, figure form? Basically, we have a square ABCD and this square is actually covered on all the four sides with identical rectangles as you see here right four identical rectangles and that forms another square EFGH so in this case this area of one rectangle here is 12 cm square as given here so same goes for other rectangles as well because all these rectangles are identical now and the area of ABCD is one for the area of EFGH how do we understand this area of ABCD is one fourth the area of EFGH assuming this we see here this is the total area of EFGH right this whole thing is the total area of EFGH and if we divide that into four parts and one part of that, right, in terms of value, this one part is equal to this much. And the remaining three parts is equal to whatever value you see here. That would be 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, which is 4 times 12, 48. So that should be the value of these three um, parts that you see here. Now let's go ahead and solve this problem. This what we did just now is to just understand the problem. Uh, so to solve the problem, first let's find out or try to write any equation here. And area of EFGH, right? Area of EFGH, that is equal to area of all the four rectangles, which is four times 12, plus area of ABCD. That's what we have written here. Area of EFGH is equal to area of rectangles, which is all the four rectangles, plus area of ABCD. And we know that area of the four rectangles is already shown here. So 4 times 12 is 48 centimeters square, plus area of ABCD. And there is another interesting fact that is given here. The area of ABCD is one-fourth the area of EFGH. So here we are going to replace this with one fourth of EFGH, right? So now, since this is an equation, what we need to do is I just want to get rid of this one fourth area of EFGH on this side, which means I'll have to subtract both sides with one fourth area of EFGH, which means area of EFGH minus one fourth area of EFGH which is what we subtracted here and this this here it got cancelled away so left the right hand side is left with 48 centimeters square so area of EFGH one whole area minus one quarter area of EFGH is equal to 48 cm square again as we saw earlier we just how we see this is if this whole thing is the area of EFGH we divide it into four parts right so this is one whole it, which is equal to the area of EFGH. Out of this, we subtract one part of it, which is one out of four of this total area. So that is one fourth of it. And what do we have? Remainder. Remainder is three fourth of the area of EFGH. So that we see here. Three fourth area of EFGH is equal to 48 centimeters square. And now if you 
want to if we know the total of this right this three is e three parts and all these parts are equal parts so this three parts is equal to 48 cm square so how much do you think is one part one part would be 48 divided by three all right so that will give us one part and if you want the whole thing that one part you can divide uh, you can multiply it by four one two three four to get the total area of efgh so that's what we do area of efgh is equal to 48 cm square it here times four over three means divided by three and times four so that would give us 64 48 divided by 3 will give us 16 and 16 times 4 will give us 64 so area of ef or efgh here is 64 centimeter square now our objective is to actually find out uh, the length of one rectangle but before we go there since we know the area of EFGH is 64 and it's a square, so length and breadth are equal and area is given by length times breadth. So 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9 and so for 64, what is the square root? We find that it is 8. 8 times 8 gives us 64. So we know this total length here is 8, here also the total length is Eight. Now we want to find the area of A, B, C, D. All right? And the area of A, B, C, D is one fourth the area of E, F, G, H, which is 64. So one fourth area of E, F, G, X is equal to 64 divided by 4. So this again, this one fourth area of E, F, G, H is nothing but the area of A, B, C, D. From what you see here, area of ABCD is one fourth of EFGH. So area of ABCD is equal to 64 divided by 4, which is 16 cm square. Again, this ABCD is a square, meaning the length is equal to the breadth. Length times breadth gives the area, which is 16. And we know that 4 times 4 gives us 16. So we know that this length here is 4. So, you can see that this whole length here is 8 and this is 4, All right? So, 8 minus 4 is what should be this plus this, right? So, that is 8 minus 4 is 4 and that 4, you look at here, this is the breadth of this rectangle. And what you see here is also the breadth of this rectangle. And these are identical rectangles, which means this breadth and this breadth should be equal. So whatever four should be equally divided between these two parts, right? So four divided by two would give us two, which means that this breadth here is equal to two centimeter width or breadth right uh, that is equal to two centimeters now we know that this is a rectangle area of the rectangle is 12 cm square we know the width which is two centimeters or breadth which is two centimeters and we know that length times breadth should be equal to 12 centimeters right length times breadth is equal to 12 centimeters which is the area of the rectangle and breadth we know is two centimeters so, what do you think should be the length? It's 12 divided by 2, and that is 6. So, the length of this one rectangle here is 6 centimeters. This is one way of solving it. Uh, I try to show the visualization everything so that we have a better understanding of how, why we are writing all these equations and how we... Um, solve this. So another way of uh, solving this uh, problem is that we could actually stop here, right? Before we go in this, once we know that the width is equal to two or breadth is equal to two centimeters, we know that this is two centimeter here, right? And 
if this is two centimeter here, uh, this is the breadth of the rectangle, and all the rectangles are identical, which means this again is the breadth of the rectangle, which should also be two centimeters, because this we know is two centimeters. Uh, so we know that the total length here of this uh, square E of GH is 8 centimeters. So 8 minus 2 will also lead to 6 centimeters. So length is 6 centimeters. That's another way of solving this problem. Hope uh, you like this video. If you have any comments, do uh, let me know in the comment section. And if you have questions, do put them there. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.